Okay, so welcome. Um, before delving into the details, I will give a very brief introduction to the UC framework. So the UC framework is a security framework for cryptographic protocols following the so-called simulation paradigm. Uh, in this setting, a protocol is said to be secure if for every adversary in the real, uh, interacting with the, with the cryptographic, cryptographic protocol, there is a simulator interacting with an ideal process where a trusted third party carries out the desired cryptographic task in such a way that for every um, interactive distinguisher called environment, um, this distinguisher cannot distinguish between these two worlds. And so the main benefit, the main advantage of UC is that its security notion is closed on a general protocol composition, which implies that um, a UC secure protocol is uh, secure when run in an arbitrary network. And furthermore, it implies that uh, the security um, can be uh, proven modularly. However, as it turned out, uh, UC, UC security is a very strong uh, security notion because a set of assumptions are required for many cryptographic tasks, for example, for uh, commitment schemes. And therefore, um, in order to get rid of these set of assumptions, uh, new frameworks have been sought after and proposed, relaxing UC security. And two of the most prominent um, uh, notions are SPS and angel-based security. In uh, SPS security, the simulator uh, may run in super polynomial time. The environment and uh, adversary remain polynomial, however. And in the angel-based setting, the simulator is given super poly powers for specific uh, computational tasks only. And there are also other frameworks, um, but these are not part of this talk. So uh, granting a simulator super poly powers uh, still implies a meaningful security notion because, in fact, many uh, ideal functionalities are information theoretic in nature, for example, commitment schemes, and can therefore, therefore not be broken by a super poly simulator. And furthermore, um, general MPC in the plane model, meaning without setup apart from authenticated channels, is possible with SPS security, even both in constant rounds and based on standard polytime assumptions. However, SPS security uh, is not closed on our general protocol composition. Angel-based security, on the other hand, is, um, but uh, there are no known constructions of general MPC protocols in this setting that are both constant round and based on standard polytime assumptions. And so what we propose is a new security framework for concurrently composable security that lies strictly between angel-based and SPS security while being compatible with UC security in the sense that a UC secure protocol remains secure in our framework. Furthermore, um, our notion is closed under general protocol composition, implying concurrent security with SPS simulators. And while our composition theorem does not directly imply modular composition uh, for some technical reasons, um, modular composition can be achieved via uh, constructing protocols with strong composition features. I will elaborate on this. And as a proof of concept, we constructed a commitment scheme uh, in the plane model that can be plugged into a large class of UC secure protocols in such a way that the composite protocol is secure in our framework. And there are two constant round instantiations, one based on one way permutations and another one, a fully black box construction based on homomorphic commitment schemes. And using this commitment scheme, uh, we can show that general MPC in the plane model is feasible in our framework, both in a constant number of rounds, as well as in, uh, in, uh, based on standard polytime assumptions. And we give two constructions, a uh, non-black box construction based on enhanced tractor permutations, and a fully black box construction based on PKE with oblivious public key generation and homomorphic commitment schemes. And the latter, to the best of our knowledge, is the first one that is um, concurrently secure in the plane model, black box and constant round, and based on standard polytime assumptions. And furthermore, uh, all our constructions are based on the relatively weak um, primitive of parallel CCA secure commitment schemes. Um, these these are commitment schemes where the hiding property, they remain hiding even the presence of an adversary that, has, that can make non-adaptive queries to a decommitment oracle. 
And this is in contrast to um, angel-based uh, protocols in the angel-based setting that generally need um, fully-fledged CCA secure commitment schemes as a building block. So uh, the, the starting idea of our framework is to uh, give simulators also super poly powers for specific tasks, just like in the angel-based setting, but um, additionally restricting access to the super poly powers. This is modeled in the following way, um, at, by a so-called shielded oracle, that is an uh, interactive Turing machine that may freely interact, directly interact with the simulator, as well as the functionality, where the, um, the um, interaction between the shielded oracle and the functionality is, cannot be monitored by the simulator. And in addition, uh, environments in our framework uh, can invoke, apart from the uh, challenge protocol, also polynomial many instances of certain uh, ideal protocols involving uh, shielded oracles. And we call these environments augmented environments. And we use this notation for pi realizes a protocol phi with respect to um, environments that may, may invoke polynomially many instances of the um, functionality FO, which is the functionality defined by F and the shielded oracle. And so these, uh, shield, shield, uh, these uh, augmented environments imply uh, composition with protocols that may also be in the FO hybrid model. So we have a generalized composition theorem here. And um, in order to cope with these um, augmented environments that are super polynomial in nature, um, we use the following technique, which is the main technique, um, our main technique, namely we replace super polynomial entities by polynomial ones in security proofs, and in particular in reductions to polynomial time um, assumptions, and thereby make uh, the uh, augmented environments efficient. The intuition uh, behind this being that shielded oracles in a way look uh, polynomial time from the outside, because all super poly powers or encapsulate or shield away from the outside. And therefore, the functionality FO can be replaced by a polynomial time machine in such a way that a augmented environment does not notice a difference and can therefore be replaced by a fully polynomial time uh, UC environment. OK, so now let me present our secure commitment scheme namely a protocol that realizes F com O with respect to F com O augmented environments for a yet-to-be-defined shielded oracle O. So um, in order to be secure in our framework, this protocol needs to fulfill uh, two properties. It needs to be extractable and equivocal in pol super polynomial time, meaning that the binding and hiding, hiding property can be broken with super poly powers. And as a building block, uh, this commitment scheme need, uh, uses a tag-based commitment scheme, CR, which uh, needs to fulfill or needs to have the following properties. It needs to be immediately committing in the sense that uh, the first message comes from the committer, and this message already perfectly determines the committed value. And this already uh, implies that uh, the commitment scheme is extractable in super poly powers, with super poly powers. And in addition, the underlying commitment scheme CR needs to be parallel CSA secure, as mentioned previously. And then extractability of uh, the uh, larger protocol pi follows directly from the extractability of the underlying commitment scheme. And equivocality uh, can be obtained by using the idea of Dom gretzky furrow namely um, letting the, the receiver commit to a equivocation trapdoor at the beginning of the protocol. OK, so now we're ready to define the shield oracle. So in the case of a corrupted sender, O plays the role of an honest receiver, and after the commit phase is over, extracts the committed value, if possible, and sends them this value to the uh, functionality. And in the case of a corrupted receiver, O plays the role of the sender, uh, extracts the equivocation trapdoor, commits to zero in the commit phase, and can then use the uh, equivocation trapdoor to open this commitment arbitrarily uh, in the unveil phase. OK, so now we can state the theorem again. So if the underlying commitment scheme of pi is immediately committing and parallel CCA secure, then um, pi realizes F com O with respect to F com O augmented environments for uh, the shielded oracle as defined previously. 
Okay, to give some intuition um, for the proof, consider the following. Let the uh, sender be corrupted and um, consider an environment that uh, commits to a value v in the commit phase and somehow manages to unveil a different value w in the unveil phase. Then um, uh, in the uh, unveil phase, uh, the receiver, the honest receiver, will output w. But in the um, ideal model, um, the receiver will output v, the value extracted by o in the unveil phase. And so if this happens, if this uh, event occurs, and we call this event a discrepancy, then uh, the environment can easily distinguish between real and ideal, and we must somehow uh, prevent such an attack. One um, conceivable way uh, the environment could, uh, could possibly cause a discrepancy is by um, invoking an additional session, FCOM O session, with a corrupted receiver, because in this case, the oracle can cause a discrepancy. It can uh, extract the equivocation trapdoor and thereby open arbitrarily in the unveil phase. And uh, so this already uh, shows that the underlying commitment scheme of Pi needs to have some kind of non-malleability, some form of non-malleability to prevent this attack. And this form of non-malleability is provided by uh, parallel CCA security. Okay, so the main part in our proof is, in the security proof, is to show that no augmented environment can cause a discrepancy, at least except with neglig negligible probability. And uh, so the proof is by contradiction in two steps. Assuming that a augmented environment can cause a discrepancy, one first makes it efficient, this environment efficient, uh, in a sense that it only interacts with only one FCOM O session with a corrupted sender, and then proves that this efficient environment cannot cause a discrepancy. And the tricky part in the proof is to show the first step, that is, uh, that, no, if it, that, that one can make this environment efficient. That's a, that's a difficult part. And very roughly, um, the way you do this is you replace uh, the uh, additional session, FCOM O sessions, uh, iteratively in a specific order with the real protocol, making non-uniform, and that's very important, non-uniform reductions to the parallel CCA security of the online commitment scheme. Um, but unfortunately, this proof is a bit too technical and too long for this talk, so I need to skip it. Okay, next what we've shown is that if the underlying commitment scheme has a additional property, uh, then one can do the following. Um, given a um, UC secure uh, protocol in the FCOM hybrid model that is concept round and can be broken down into phases, a commit phase and a compute phase. In the commit phase, uh, parties uh, may only commit via calls to FCOM. And in the compute phase, arbitrary, um, arbitrary interaction is allowed, um, but not uh, calls to FCOM apart from unveil messages. And with, these, with this premise, um, one can in fact plug our protocol into Rho, and the, such that the composite protocol is secure in our framework. One can find a shielded oracle such that uh, Rho composed with Pi um, emulates uh, GO prime with respect to GO prime augmented environments. And um, this, uh, this structure being uh, can, that you can uh, break down a, uh, this protocol in the commit and compute phase. Uh, you can always uh, achieve this um, because you can always compile such a, a protocol, arbitrary protocol, into one having such a structure by replacing uh, commitments with randomized commitments. Okay, uh, and using this composition theorem from Pi, we can uh, effectively import UC results into our framework, and that's effectively what's going to happen. But first, let me um, talk about the instantiations um, of uh, the protocol Pi. So the underlying commitment scheme of Pi can be instantiated with a uh, modified version of the eight round construction by Goyal et al. 2014. Uh, this can be based on one-way permutations, uh, yielding a constant round protocol, and it can also be based on verifiable, perfectly binding homomorphic commitment schemes. Verifiable, meaning that the validity um, of the commitment key is publicly verifiable. 
and therefore the commitment key can be generated and sent by the committer and not necessarily by a trusted setup. And the latter then yields a constant round black box construction, or black box instantiation of the protocol pi. Okay, and with these two constant round instantiations of pi, um, we can do the following. We can now uh, plug them into uh, appropriate UC results, general MPC results, and then we get the following. So uh, we can use our uh, instantiation based on one of the permutations and uh, plug it into an uh, appropriate protocol and get a, uh, a general MPC protocol in our framework in the plane model based, uh, that is constant round and based on enhanced traffic permutations. And we can also use, for instance, the protocol by Hazai et al. 2015, that is uh, constant round and black box, and plug our black box instantiation of pi into this protocol and get a protocol secure in our framework in the plane model that is constant round, black box, and based on crypto primitives um, with poly hardness. Okay, so um, let me su summarize. So um, we proposed a new universally composable security framework that is um, based on the idea of granting simulators uh, restricted access to specific um, computational tasks. Uh, we have constructed a commitment scheme secure in our framework that, has, um, that fulfills a certain modular composition property. Using this, co this commitment scheme, we were able to show that constant round black box general APC in the plane model, based on standard poly time assumptions, is feasible in our framework. And um, we also, um, and also it's interesting to note that uh, all results, all our constructions are based on only parallel CCA secure commitment schemes. Okay, so I am done with my talk, so thank you. Thank you, we have time for questions. While people are thinking of questions, maybe the next person can start coming up. So at some point you said that you are using uh, a construction of GRRV yes. as a sub-protocol. Yes. Uh, in particular, why don't you use any commitment as a protocol? Which properties from GRRV you need in your construction? It's eight round, but what do you need? Yeah, well, um, to be honest, with TRV was the first one we encountered that uh, we believe um, fulfills uh, our th these these uh, premises to be parallel CCA secure and immediately committing. Um, what we need is uh, we need a certain extractor. So uh, our extractor needs to be able to cope with non-adaptive uh, a non-adaptive parallel CCA secure commitment scheme to make this uh, an adversary plus a parallel CCA secure um, decommitment oracle polynomial time. And uh, this can be done um, in constant rounds uh, uh, as opposed to um, fully fledged CCA security where I think there is some impossibility result by Kiyoshima where this is not possible at least uh, making black box reductions to, uh, um, to standard poly time assumptions or falsifiable uh, assumptions uh, at least in constant rounds. So this was the first one uh, we encountered, and yeah. Uh, there might be others that are possible, uh, but yeah, it works. <laughs>